Hi, welcome, and thank you for joining me for my second edition of the video series. So, in the first video, you would have seen me talk about congruence, and with congruence as a recap, it's having the alignment of your thoughts, your words, and your actions. In the second edition, what I'd like to talk a little bit about is focus. So we understand that we need to have alignment between our thoughts and our words and our actions. But without focus of what it is that we want to achieve, then we lack that vision. And so what I'd like to talk about is focus with clarity on what it is that you'd like to achieve in your vision. So let's say, for example, you wanted to focus on achieving uh, a very clear outcome in your personal endeavors whether it be a new job or a new career or a new line of study perhaps applying yourself in some way and so having that clear focus then as to exactly what it is you want to do and what it is you want to achieve will help you go a long way in actually attaining the outcome that you desire so if you actually sat down and put pen to paper and got what's here out on paper and started writing out just three steps and this is a process known by uh, you know Tony Robbins and you may have heard about it before it's, it's called OPA which is outcome purpose and then action plan so OPA OPA and if you write just you know on the side of the page O for what's the outcome? What do you want to achieve? And then once you've got that clearly defined, the next step is purpose. Why do you want to do it? What is the reason behind it? And who's going to benefit from it? You know, is it just for you to benefit, or is it going to be the community of people you work with, or your family, and so on? And then once you've got the purpose defined, that's what's going to drive you towards achieving that outcome. Then of course the last step is the action plan. It's step by step, what do I need to do to achieve this outcome? Okay. So for example, let's say, very, very basic example, for a young person who's never driven a car before, if the outcome is to get his learner's um, permit, he'd sit down, he'd put O, outcome, get my learner's permit, get my driver's license. Purpose, I start to drive, gain more experience on the road, it's safer for me, for people in the car with me, and people on the road. Uh, I start getting to my friends quicker because I have my own car, etc., etc. And rather than catching public transportation, for example. And then, you know, action plan. Well, I need to find out what the requirements are to get my learner's permit. Um, you know, so obviously, legal requirements, age, etc. What documents do I need to have? Getting those documents together, studying for the exam, and then going ahead and getting it. Pretty standard sort of process but once you've got that clarity um, it will help you achieve what it is that you want to achieve with much more succinct process so cheers to you and good luck with whatever it is that you want to uh, achieve stay tuned for my next video series and it will be more about controlling the mind and understanding